showing in this exhibition uh, two pieces. Uh, one recent work which is uh, called Never Miss a Flight. What you see on the wall is consistent of 18 frames with drawings of insects, different insects, different variations. Um, and basically how I made this piece was uh, through mounting a board, uh, a wooden board, on the top of my car and then uh, drove always from one city, which was Berlin in that case, to another destinations like Prague, like Dusseldorf, like Cologne, like Munich, uh, and then returning the next day in the same time all the way back to Berlin and writing down the data and the temperature, the speed, the average speed, the kilometers, <clears throat> the time how much I took. And the results basically of all that technical um, variations is, uh, was the drawings. Um, the second piece in the show is called uh, Time to Change the World. From outside, seen as, a, as an object that was placed at the wall as it would be a furniture or interior furniture of the exhibition space. And once you look inside the box, uh, you see the numbers 1, 2, 3 placed in an inverse position. And therefore, Time to Change the World refers to the meaning of you know, putting the whole situation of our known beliefs or indexes that we follow as something static, as something always taken as, as proper, upside down, and basically showed in a, yeah, in, in a different way. The image behind me is one of seven photographs depicting a work that is called Sticks Class A. Those are real objects, all of them are sticks. And this is the first time when it's presented in the photographic uh, medium, uh, which is made as a semi-documentation and yet another piece of an artwork on its own as a photography. The original sticks are made out of aluminium, all of them are handmade and each of them has a different design, different length, different thickness and color. The, the paint is the same paint you would have on a car. And it's not really clear what is the function of those sticks or the purpose or where are they coming from. Uh, where the ambiguity itself is kind of one of the important parts of the work for me. Because it is a little bit like a magnet or like a collapse. And uh, here in this series of pictures I wanted it to look a little bit like a uh, the photos you have in a cheap uh, restaurants of the food that is presented to you with not high-tech quality photography reproduction yet you know that it's still looking better than the real thing that you're getting on your dish afterwards. This is one small garden in some street, in some periphery of Shanghai. I just ask myself why this place looks like this, and how, how we can compare it with, with some European cities. For me it's interesting that uh, it's like urban part, but it's mixture with some uh, agriculture part. Uh, and this makes some strange connection between landscape and urban landscape.